and welcome! My name is Eva and today another Christmas slash New Year's Eve makeup Although today's makeup, I think, because of its color story, will have more Christmas vibes Today I'm going to do green and red makeup But red will be more like accents, the green will be like the main color on my eyelids And why is that? First of all, because red is a very classic color for Christmas And actually even last year I did like monochromatic red uh, Christmas look So if you want to check it out on my channel, there is already plenty different makeups with Christmas and New Year's Eve vibes And second thing is that green and red don't blend well with each other And why is that? Because they are opposite to each other on color wheel I'm not going to explain you right now color wheel theory and why these two eyeshadows don't blend well I'm going to leave this video here, it's a actually pretty old video and I would say something differently now, but still like the base informations are true and good So if you want to know like my basics check this video if you know the color theory You know that I have to Separate these two colors either by some shimmer like for example gold or blend them through different color green yellow red but this way we would achieve more tropical look so i'm not going to do it for today's makeup i will work mostly with be perfect and stacy mary carnival v antidote so fourth carnival palette also i'm going to use two nablas glitter palettes this one is ruby lights and this one is glorious lights so the newest one and also i have some singles here but i'm going to use only the red this red, this is the best red I have in my collection, this red is uh, Kiss Me, I believe, by Melchior Professional But of course you don't need to have anything I'm going to show you today I'm going to describe colors I'm going to use, so just use what you have, use palettes, eyeshadows and just things you have in your collection You don't need to use anything that I have I'm going to apply my P. Louise base, zoom you in and we can start The colors you're going to need are three different greens Medium, dark and lime green If you don't have lime green, use yellow and I'll tell you what to do with yellow if you don't have lime If you don't have dark green, use black and you're going just to mix black with your green that you have You also need black and red and maybe shimmer, highlighter as you wish All right. Let's start, I'm going to start as always with matte beige So I'm using this matte beige to set my underbrow area Blending will be easier, safer I'm going to start from the darkest green In my palette this is shade Antidote, it's this shade If you have similar shade then good If not you're going to mix green with black or use black It's up to you And I'm going to apply this shade on my whole eyelid so from my inner corner to my outer corner, up to my crease, not in my crease, but up to. And if you're afraid of working with dark shades, use less, we're going to get back to the darkest shades. So I'm going to apply the darkest, medium, the lightest, and then go back from the medium to the darkest. Now I gently blend the edges, so today I also do a little tutorial of blending for you. Now I'm taking my medium green, for me this will be this shade, so it's not juicy green, it's more swampy but still light green Looks like this, and I'm going to apply it on this edge where I started to blend, so not on my bare skin, but on this blending, so still on this dark color So here is where I'm applying this shade So it's let's say in my crease because I applied this dark shade to my crease But I had to blend it so it's a little bit in my crease So here I'm applying this medium green And I gently blend it up Not much though 
And the last green I'm going to use is lime green. For me, it's green like this. If you don't have lime green, you use yellow. But in this case, because I really don't want to achieve yellow here. So what you're going to do is to blend this medium green a little bit higher. And then on this green, apply your yellow. This way you're going to achieve this more mossy lime green. I'm going to use just lime and as with this medium green I'm going to apply it on this edge not on my bare skin and then I'm going to blend it up so first I'm applying it on this green and then I'm starting to blending up so in reality I'm blending more like green up than this lime green up that makes sense I hope it does and now to blend this area even better and make it even more smooth I'm going back to my beige and I'm blending this edge under my brow and then after this step we're going back to lime. I'm not adding more eyeshadow on this brush so if you used yellow don't use yellow again just use this dirty brush and blend this area again to blend it even better with this beige. And now let's go back to medium green. I also don't apply anything more. I use what I have on this brush and blend it up. I blend it with tapping. That's my favorite technique. And at the end, go back to the darkest green and also blend it up. Or leave it if you don't want to have very dark makeup. Maybe you're satisfied with what you have right now on your eyes. It's up to you. The upper eyelid is ready. The only thing I miss here is black eyeshadow, but we'll get to it. Right now I'm going to use my red eyeshadow on my lower eyelid and with small pencil brush apply this red starting from the inner corner towards outer. Apply this color this way because we want to have the best pigmentation in the inner corner and small pigmentation in the outer corner because here will be black and we're going to mix this red with black anyway. Now gently I'm going to work with black. The goal is to apply a little bit of black in my outer corner on both, so on upper and lower eyelid. I'm going to start with upper, not much, just a touch, just to connect these two worlds together, world of green and world of... <laughs> red because I have fallout here I'm going to cut this edge with micellar water I didn't want to do that but unfortunately I have fallout so it will be necessary the last shade I need here is shimmer in my inner corner but I'm going to apply it later because here I also have a little fallout so I rather to clean everything apply my foundation concealer and stuff and then apply this shimmer this will be a little bit pinkish shimmer for me it will be something like this you of course can use whatever you want gold will be great Perfect, I would even say. And on this shimmer, I'm going to apply also glitter, but I have two glitters I want to use today. So first I can apply even now, and this glitter will be right here in my inner corner on my lower eyelid on this red shade. And this will be shade Ruby. So this one and this is of course Ruby Lights Glitter Palette by Nabla. So first I'm applying just my base I use for glitters. So Glitter Primer by NYX. I'm going to apply it in this spot where I need my glitter. And now let's add the glitter. I'll show you one day how to apply glitter without any fallout, but I'm not going to do it on Zoom. <laughs> It's not possible to zoom you in and show you this. I ordered some holographic glitters by Unicorn Cosmetics recently. So when they come to me, I think I'm going to, of course, show you them. And then maybe I'll do a tutorial how to apply glitters with as little fallout as possible. Because it is possible, but not when I want to be in frame and show you everything. So this is actually my idea for eye makeup. So I won't add anything here more than I said. So this inner corner. Uh, if you want to on this black, apply some glitter, shimmer, to topper. 
green topper that would look really really amazing i'm not going to do it though i don't want to destroy what i have here this was the plan so i'm going to apply false lashes do my face and we'll be back with final touches of this makeup let's move on i applied my foundation concealer i contoured my face and of course i applied lashes these are by unicorn cosmetics majestic af and they remind me of the star on top of the Christmas tree. Don't know why, maybe it's because of this beautiful layout of these hairs. It's gorgeous. I love them very much. It's time to finish my eye makeup. So I'm going to apply this shimmer in my inner corner first. And now, of course, time to add glitter here too. So first I apply a little bit of my glitter primer. And now I'm taking Glorious Lights palette and shade Aura so this one i've already applied it in my inner corner and in not my last video but video before my last video and i really like it i really adore how it looks in my inner corner it just looks so magical i can't say no to it time for blush i think i want to <laughs> do red lips today but i want a little bit more life on my cheeks so i'm going to use my favorite blush by Bourjois and this one is number 34 and this is this universal blush that you can use for a lot of different makeups and it will still match. It won't match <laughs> to my lipstick and it won't match to my eye makeup but still I think it will match in general to this look. Most of the time you just match your blush to your lipstick or to your makeup but this time I don't think <laughs> this blush matches to anything so it's only here to add a little bit life to my face. As my highlighter I'm going to use something that is more beigey than uh, warm tone gold but you can of course use gold and I'll see if this will be sufficient or maybe I'll add to it something more warm tone or maybe cool toned, maybe something pinkish. This time I think I leave it like this. This highlighter is good by its own. I don't need anything more to it. Although some pinkish accent would be also nice. And now the most difficult part, which is what lipstick I want to use or lip product in general. I have, for example, red lip gloss, which yeah, would match here amazingly, but I think I want to use something that uh, really is visible <laughs> and pigmented. Yeah, I use this one. Okay, this is good, but I think I'm going to use this lip gloss anyway. This is, of course, by Nabla Shine Fury Lip Gloss, and this is shade Stardust Radio. This lip gloss was an amazing idea. I think it complements this glitter very well. So this is the finished makeup. I hope you like the idea. Of course, there's plenty more ideas how you can uh, combine red and green in one makeup. Like there's a lot, really a lot of ideas. Like listen, I really wish to <laughs> make a lot of more green and um, red makeups, but I need to think about the next year. Like. <laughs> I still have to have some ideas for the next year, okay? <laughs> so I hope for today's um, Christmas slash New Year's Eve season this green and red makeup is sufficient and I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if so, don't forget about your precious like and as always, I love you very, very much. Thank you so much for watching and I see you soon. Bye!